Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a massive day on FIFA 23 because Winter Wild Cards is starting today and EA are going crazy with this promo. We have absolutely insane leaks to look at today. We have insane pack codes. Yeah, remember the Black Friday 100 player pack? It's back. It's even more insane. It might even be dropping today. We have to look at all of that and what to expect on the market on this crazy day of winter wild cards starting on FIFA 23. So if you're excited for the promo today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's just start by getting right into it and looking at the players that we expect to see. Of course, that loading screen that EA dropped yesterday was a surprise because there were some players on there that we did not have leaked yet. Confirmed to be in the promo team today is Kevin De Bruyne. And he has got an insane looking card. And yes, these are stats expected. You are seeing this correctly. 99 physical on Kevin De Bruyne. Like, that's insane. I, again, this seems weird. I don't know what's going on here with this 99 physical. Um, it was leaked earlier in the week that Kimmich has 99 passing. So it's crazy. There's another goalkeeper league with 99 speed or something like that. So this card is one of the best in the promo for sure today. 99 physical looks absolutely ridiculous for that De Bruyne card. He is one of the ones on the loading screen. Berlin Mendy is getting a promo card today. He is going to get a special item with Winter Wild Cards. Now, the physical actually went down on his card from his gold, but they gave him a huge passing boost. So, it seems like this Winter Wild Cards promo this year might be kind of like last year where they give some pretty insane promo boosts, but they're also like kind of random. So, that is a Mendy card that we are expecting to see today on this game. Dembele, again, guys, they are going all out with this player selection. Earlier in the week, the leaks just looked okay. Now it looks pretty nuts. Right wing Dembele, it's not that big of a boost for him, but still, 5-star, five 5-star, five Usman Dembele again, another boosted card. That's pretty crazy. The one thing I want to look at with these leaks are, as you can see, some of these are added as Team 1. They are specifically leaked to be Team 1, which would be today. Guys like Ferland Mendy and some of the other cards leaked earlier on in the week, they might not be in Team 1 today. They may not be in packs. They may be in Team 2. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind with these leaks. Joao Felix is getting a card... Uh, Griezmann links, Portugal links, 91 pace, 93 dribble. Uh, that's a really, really insane looking card for five-star skills, four-star weak foot, Joao Felix as well. Some of these guys might be getting weak foot and skill move upgrades today too, which could make their cards even more desirable. Klaustrman is leaked. That's a nuts center back card. 88 pace, 85 defense, 85 physical. Now, again, all these stats that are being posted on these cards are the official leaked stats that we expect to see today. So they should be right around accurate with where the leaks are and what drops in the game. Clivert is the other card in the loading screen. 92 pace, 89 dribble. Looks like a pretty cheap La Liga uh, wing player that could be pretty good in game and that's not all there's more Conte right that's one of the cards on the loading screen Conte with 81 pace 80 passing this is a huge huge boost for Conte finally makes him a bit more usable in the midfield because his gold card this year is just a little bit behind the power curve now we've seen a lot of other leaks before this of course and we've looked at them in past videos on the channel we got some SBC leaks to talk through this Milinkovic Savage is the one with 99 speed so it just seems like EA are releasing cool cards today and I'm hyped now I'm a lot more hyped than I was earlier after seeing some of the leaks yesterday um, yeah we looked at Varane that's cool Pepe that's cool some of these other cards in here Kimmich with maybe 99 passing Robertson with the five star skills uh, getting in the team as well I was hyped for these cards but now after seeing a lot more leaks and seeing how this team actually is going to look today looks insane it looks absolutely mental for these winter wild cards items so a big part about all of this today though is the start of what we knew last year in winter wild cards that was the daily player sbc content and we have good news because also leaked is that there is going to be the daily player sbc's Returning foot sheriff said yesterday we uh, we will have at least one player SBC per day And that of course brought on a lot of leaked players as SBCs one of the first ones that we had Tony Cruz with 80 pace That would be a very very fun card if they gave him the pace boost make him so much more usable That would be an SBC that if priced correctly, right? That's how it always is with SBCs and player SBCs. It's got to be priced correctly This Cruz card would make waves on the market for sure in terms of an SBC people want to get that in now now, we don't know what SBC is dropping today on Friday. We've, we've got a DePaul leak here. Of course, we've got the um, the cruise that we just looked at. We have got a 
Ozil that is leaked. This card to me does not look that great statistically. This better be very, very cheap. We just had a Gutsa card that looks just as good, if not better. This one's just kind of more like hits you in the feels, right? The nostalgia of Ozil cards in FIFA, that sort of thing for him. And then Silas, this could be our SBC today. I'll, I'll be completely honest. If this card drops, yes, there's hype around the player in the game uh, just because of the five-star skills and Silas being who he is. But that SBC is, I mean, to me, in terms of the, you know, the hype of just an insane card in the game, this one might be a little underwhelming, but it should be pretty cheap. So that's cool, right? There's That's what a lot of these SBCs are. They're just cool. And then the other one that we have, of course, is DePaul. I don't know which SBC is dropping today, but I do believe that whatever SBC does drop today, since the Winter Wildcards SBCs last year were such good value, the links to those cards, whatever cards people would use in their team to do that SBC and then link it together to get chemistry, I think you will see the market moving today based off of whoever's in an SBC, people buying cards to link to that player if the value is good. That's the key. The value has to be good. Of course, you guys might remember last year we had the Winter Wild Card Zaha on day one and Premier League strikers and Premier League um, midfielders exploded because people went out to link that Zaha card in their team. Now this year, again, you, you have to think about it in a little bit of a different way because of chemistry changing, but watch out for links to whatever SBC player is dropped today, rising in price because there's just a lot of hype around the winter wild cards player SBCs. Now we are expecting an objective uh, player today as well. And that is Ahmed Musa. Uh, if we take a look at the league here really quickly, just to show you guys this card, a pacey FIFA legend, Ahmed Musa. Uh, that's a super league card, I believe. And he is going to be getting our objective today. So watch out for a pacey super sub opportunity in objectives today in that part of the game. Now let's talk about packs. And let's talk about pack code because, yes, we've seen the crazy cards. Yes, we're excited for the SBCs and for the cards and packs. But get a load of some of these packs that EA are going to be dropping today. This is the big one. The Winter Special Pack contains 105 gold rare players. Five guaranteed to be 85 overall. And in addition to all of that, you get a foot hero player, player rated 87 or higher. Like this is ridiculous. 87 plus hero and 105 gold rare players in a pack. Like how much is this pack going to cost in the store? Remember the Black Friday 100 pack that contained 100 rare gold players, no rating in, inside of it, just 100 rare gold players. That was a 250,000 coin pack how much is that pack going to cost whether it's dropped today whether it's dropped during the weekend of winter wild cards it's going to be crazy and as we look at these other pack codes that have been dropped it is just crazy to see how many of them are going to be coming out over the weekend ea is going full send mode to try to make as much money as possible is what it seems with these cards so we got the winter wild card swap token pack this pack is actually in the milestones Sorry, in the moments store, if you guys don't know where, there were three tokens dropped yesterday, two in SBCs, one in marquee matchups, one in a standalone SBC, and the third one is in the moments store. So that's where this pack is. So we have seven total winter wildcard swap tokens dropped in the game. But look at these other packs, a winter special pack, right? That's the big 105 players one, an icebreaker pack, which is an 84 uh, times 10, an 84 times 10 untradeable in the store. That's to me a, a, car, a pack that's going to be in the store. A winter snowstorm pack, which is guaranteeing a base icon player and 12 rare gold players. So again, another crazy pack that sounds like it's going to be in the store. The winter tempest pack. This one is what I want to talk about right now. Winter tempest pack reminds me a lot of this pack right here. The winter recruits pack. Basically, it's the same thing. 20 rare gold players, but this tempest pack guarantees you one player to be 85 plus. And this pack will be tradable, just like the Winter Recruits pack was. 37,000 coins, it was kind of a deal, right? Because it was like a 100k pack, but a lot cheaper, and it was tradable. That pack is going to be, a similar pack is going to be in the game today, supplying the brand new promo cards tradable on the market. So watch out for that one. I think that'll be dropping today. We've got a Winter Cheer Pack, which is an 86 plus, a Winter Wild Card Swap Token, nine rear goal players, all in tradable, a Season 2 Review Pack, which contains basically all of the World Cup promos that we have had in the past month or so, and then they've got these Winter versions of the 100k pack and the um, 
50k pack and an ultimate pack we've already seen a couple of these added into the game the ultimate pack plus is already in the game basically what these are is it's almost like two for one packs or like bonus packs because you get a 100k pack and then inside of it um you get an additional eight, eight rare gold players or in the 50k pack you get a regular 50k pack but you get an additional 16 or an additional four players to make it 16 items so basically this is just extra supply that ea is going to be dropping onto the game today and like i said we've already seen the ultimate pack plus which is an ultimate pack but then you get a free mega pack inside of it there is going to be loads of supply today on this game and honestly that scares me a little bit for the market because it makes me think that these winter wild cards are going to be supplied a ton which probably means they're going to be pretty cheap in that first hour they could be cheap as well because i think there's a good amount of people that have been saving packs not everybody but there's been some people that have been saving packs for winter wild cards and i do think that in that first hour there will be opportunities to trade with these cards kind of like there was last week with a team of the tournament cards like remember dalo got really low first hour he was like 200,000 coins and then he went all the way up to like 240 250k that sort of fluctuation of course now they're a lot cheaper right that's what happens after being in packs for a week but that sort of fluctuation is probably going to be very profitable today on the market when they drop those packs in the store at content time today now let's talk more about the market we've covered the content we've seen all the crazy packs we've seen all that stuff Let's talk about the market. With all of this crazy stuff that is inbound today, will there be panic selling before we even get to the content drop today? I think it's almost impossible that we will not see panic selling. I think we will see a lot of cards dropping into the content time today. People are going to be scared about all of the leaks that they see, about all the stuff that they've seen. Uh, you know, even this Path to Glory Griezmann, who is back up a little bit to about 630,000 coins, he was 600k flat yesterday, and a lot of cards have been continually lowering in price as people are just kind of panic selling and just scared and like oh my goodness the content's going to be absolutely nuts today on friday so people are selling these cards especially some of the team the tournaments you know you see phil foden 240k he was 290 earlier in the week harry kane was 100k flat uh teo hernandez is down a lot because of the leak um of the a Ferlin Mendy card, Casemiro is pretty cheap. A lot of this promo team has gone down and down, down in price, but it's not just these guys. It's everywhere. If you take a look at all Team of the Week cards, World Cup Phenoms, right? Uh, you've got Bellingham that is low. You've got a Kunde card that is pretty low. Hakimi is under uh, 400,000 coins. A lot of these cards on the market are pretty low, and they're being panic sold headed into today. And I think you're going to see some more panic selling today. Now, if there's cards that you maybe want for your team that are from earlier promos in the year, maybe it's from like Road to the World Cup, or maybe it's a World Cup Stories promo card that like you really want one of these for your team, or maybe it's even like a Path to Glory. You know, I think there'll be great opportunities today to maybe buy somebody like a Danny Alves, right? Let's say Danny Alves is down to like 100k. That might be a card you can pick up if you want it for your team. You know, unless the content today is like a right back or something, SBC or whatever, that's like crazy insane. A card like this shouldn't be impacted like a crazy amount. I do think there's a lot of people that want to go out and play weekend league um, with the coins that they have been, you know, that they'll be getting today. There'll be a lot of people that will get coins from opening saved up packs today on the market. That's something to consider because usually when you see that happen, you see a bit of a market rise um, in the kind of the hours after a promo drop on some cards, right? I would really focus on the out of packs cards. If you're trying to flip cards and make any coins today, gold cards that are in packs, like let's say gold Cristiano Ronaldo, gold Van Dyke, those guys that, you know, a lot of people use, but they just continue to fall in price. They're probably going to fall even more today just because they're going to get packed and they're going to get supplied so much. And there's going to be new promo cards out in the game that people will want to sell and get those cards instead. So today it's going to be a very, very interesting day on the market. I think you're going to see panic selling. I do think there will be some bounce backs later on after content, but those bounce backs and where we'll be trading today will really depend on what SBC has dropped how much supply there is for these brand new cards and you know just what the hype is on the game today it's going to be a pretty sh uh, shady day pretty shifty day uh, on the market with prices just kind of going to be going everywhere and a lot of prices on the lower tier especially for those gold cards that will be in packs will probably just continue to drop because they're just going to get supplied everything impacts 
is just going to get supplied so much kind of like these prime icons as well these prime icons are very very rare right now a lot of them are way too expensive for what they should be like wayne rooney is a million coins wow 900k flat i just watched this guy sell for 950,000 coins so that is honestly a little bit tempting to me to try to make a quick flip out of this card but it's it's risky right look at this card it has four different owners and no games played it's very risky trading with these prime icons because um you know they're rare right now on the market, and some of them are not even showing up. Some of them are extinct. I, I do believe that a lot of these cards uh, will be on the market today, and a lot of them will be dropping in price just because they are going to be getting supplied a lot through the lightning rounds, through the packs, and, and people will be panic selling these heading into the content drop today knowing that they're expecting these cards to drop a bit more. Butragueno is like 1.1 mil. That, to me, is still very expensive compared to Butragueno's World Cup icon card that has the upgraded weak foot um and is all albeit probably a better card than the prime is right so i traded with a lot of icons yesterday there will be great fluctuations to be had and great profits to be had trading with these cards because there'll be hours of panic selling and uh times where the cards will go back up but really try to focus on the market today if you're trying to trade what type of cards are going to be the most hype now remember we have the argentina links we have got a lot of these serial links that are up in price recently too just because that's where like the Di Maria SBC, right? That's where a lot of the hype has been on the market recently. Still watch those Syria and watch those Argentinian cards today, because if the SBC content is not that good, then some of those that are up in price, maybe like, I think in, I'm thinking of Montiel, um, maybe th this version of Messi or any of the other Argentinian cards that are up in price on this market might end up bouncing back really well as people go and buy back cards that they may be panic sold before the promo actually starts today like montiel is what seventy thousand coins if he goes down to like i don't know 60k today in the panic selling could this go back up absolutely now if there's like the depaul spc is leaked and it's, it's you know known that it's coming out today would he rise back up after that well of course he would because that's a card people would want to link to the brand new SBC. So it's going to be a crazy mental day on the market today. There's going to be a lot of people that lose coins. On promo Fridays, people lose tons and tons of coins because they try out the new promo cards. Just don't get caught holding on to the new winter wild cards. If you buy them to try them out, don't get caught holding on to them for too long because EA is also going to go full send with the lightning rounds. They're going to be running tradable lightning rounds, untradable lightning rounds, so many packs in the store to try to get people to spend money, right? Spend money. And that's going to supply those cards onto the market. A lot of those packs are tradable anyways. So just be very, very careful trading with the winter wild cards. They're going to fluctuate a lot, but they'll also probably drop even more as we head throughout the weekend so as new promo cards do so just be very very careful with that now there's one thing that's pretty interesting today that we haven't talked about yet and a lot of people are not talking about and it is this this new car design was added um last night and it's going to be dropping in the game today now ea sports of course told us that they, we are going to be getting this this is the history makers remember this it's like mbappe and zidane um van dyke and van percy like you're going to be getting one of these list of players here um and a lone either hero or a lone icon it's probably not going to be a great version rating wise of these history makers players like i doubt that the mbappe that drops today uh, i doubt that card is going to end up being as good as his gold right uh, but it's just going to be interesting because it's a free pack ea said that these packs should drop between december 23rd and january 3rd so we're hoping it's today the card designs added to the code so it probably will be today we'll just have to see and then those history maker cards they upgrade they upgrade on january 13th and february 14th so they actually do get upgrades which is very interesting this whole scenario here is just very weird uh, but it sounds like we might be getting um a free uh world cup history maker today so good luck you know if you get a kai havertz a pulisic or maybe even Mbappe or a Valverde card, you know, we'll just have to see what the pack weight is like on these when they drop today. But all you have to do to get this pack is log into FIFA. And a lot of you guys have probably logged into FIFA since this started between November 9th and January 3rd. So yeah, we've all logged into FIFA most likely since November 9th. So we're going to be getting that pack today. So I don't think that will impact the market a crazy amount, but it could impact it a little bit now really quickly let's talk about yesterday's content with the new season and i want to just spend a minute or so talking about this because ea changed some things first of all there's no more level 15 players they gave us packs instead and a lot of people are not happy because the packs were not that great the pack that you get here at the end of level 30 is a 
foot 23 position players pack, which is one goalkeeper, four defenders, three midfielders, and three attackers. It's basically like, hey, here's a pack for you to try to grind for during team of the year is what it sounds like. When they do those position-based packs, it sounds a lot like team of the year, but not having level 15 and level uh, 30 reward players is kind of unfortunate, I think, for a lot of people just, you know, because we got some cool cards there. But also, I think a lot of people in the FIFA community complained about not liking the level 15 and 30 players. So EA said, all right, we'll just give you guys packs anyway. So that's kind of where we are with those. Also, yesterday, we had a very interesting out of position player SBC, Osei 2-2, high, high, 3-4, and a nice boost and so many alternate positions like these out of position cards have. Again, EA said they would be randomly dropping these SBCs throughout the year. So here's another example of um, them going ahead and doing it. It's really cheap. It's a very interesting card with honestly pretty interesting links. It's, I mean, if you have interest in this, go for it. Might be good for swaps later on down the line or just interesting chemistry links with Bundesliga and England links for that card. So not really too much to complain about there just because not that crazy of a card now also today if you want to do a last minute 81 plus double pack these are going to be expiring i've got probably about i've got 19 right now saved up i'll probably have a little bit more uh and then also i mean we talk about fodder at the end of every video so if you're if you're hanging in for the end fodder talk for today um it's dropping of course as people are selling these cards and as there's maybe a little bit of supply heading into the content drop today 85s are now 7.6 they were 8k 88s are still about 26,000 coins. 80, or 91s are still about 54, 55. It's very interesting for the 91s because Benzema and De Bruyne both might be a part of the promo today. If they go out of packs, their gold cards could be decent investments if we get good SBCs. Now, we still have the Icon Pack. If people have not done the Icon Pack, that is still technically available today but i feel like since it's non-repeatable it's not going to impact the fodder market too much and i feel like this won't cause that much of a rise on fodder maybe a little bit but not super crazy just because i would imagine that most people have done this already and again like i said it is non-repeatable so hopefully fodder with all the supply can drop off a little bit but if we have a really really good player sbc if it's really cheap, um, you know, it might require like an 84 squad or, or an 85 squad or something like that. Then some of your low tier fodder could rise back up again. But I don't expect fodder to move that much today. We'll just hopefully be seeing it drop off some so that we can invest later on this weekend because we're going to have daily player SBCs every day, which means a lot of SBC demand in this upcoming week. So fodder will be a good opportunity to invest, in my opinion, in some areas of it, at least in the next couple of days on this weekend hopefully with some pack supply and some prices dropping so i'm gonna be finishing off some of these quick flips that i have here getting my coins liquid and ready for today on friday because it'll probably be a great day to make coins great day to try out some brand new really awesome cards with wild cards and hopefully some really good sbc content as well i mean guys it all looks like it's gonna be an incredible incredible day today on Friday for winter wild cards. So if you're excited for the big time promo today, hit the thumbs up on this video, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.